Community Garden started with um, having volunteers here on our campus and actually trying to pull up weeds for about three years. We actually had some snakes and some weeds. My volunteers braved it all, um, but I talked to Major Vic about actually trying to do something back there and getting something to grow. We would try Roundup and all these weed killers and it wouldn't kill anything. And I felt like God really wanted us to, to do something, to grow something. He was showing me that because the weeds would not die coming right up through the asphalt. So that's how the um, idea started. And um, with that, then um, we just, we have a beautiful garden now. It took about a year and um, just a lot of hard work, a lot of volunteers. I've got a lot of people that are really inspired and um, have taken this on as their passion. The garden's mission is to grow vegetables, fruits and vegetables for our kitchen to serve our shelter uh, residents. It also is a great learning tool. I have um, people that are from high schools and colleges that have never been in a garden or a farm. Um, and also people that live in KCDC housing that are in the projects that have to do community service work. And we teach all of them how to garden, um, as well as our homeless community. They volunteer right alongside us. And um, there's nothing better than to have a Saturday here and have 100 volunteers. Tears. The design center, um, we had the person that was here, um, the grant developer had worked with the design center before, I guess they, you know, have meetings and things like that. And so um, it sparked my interest that uh, they mentioned that because I was needing somebody to do a plan so I could explain kind of what I wanted back there. Actually, when they first came out here, there was just um, asphalt and, you know, I talk a lot and so I kept telling them what I wanted there and I could tell that uh, the director and Leslie, when they came out here, kind of was like, okay. Um, they wrote a lot of things down and they believed in me, I think, but, um, you know, I, there was a lot of things I was saying that I don't think that they thought it would come to pass this soon. Um, but with the design center, they also did some archways and some trellises, which we don't have back there yet, but that's one of the things that I'm hoping somebody will stand up and help us with. So there was a lot of things that they incorporated into the design that um, has helped kind of beautify it a little bit. I mean, how else can you have wonderful architectural people that can um, provide such a great tool for you to try to get money and for your project? And I mean, that's how we kind of use this to help with grants and things like that and to show other people what you're doing. If it wasn't for the plan, then I wouldn't have had anybody else to kind of show them what my, my inspiration was and what we were going to try to do.